What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a speed comparison of the new iPhone 5 to the iPhone 4S. So let's go ahead and get started with the speed test. I've already went ahead and prepared both phones for the video. Uh, the cookies and the cache and everything have been cleared out of Safari, as well as all of the apps have been uh, force quit uh, on each phone, except for, of course, settings and YouTube, because uh, those I've been using. Uh, the YouTube app, I've got them pulled up because I've already got a search loaded up on it, just to make it a little bit faster. Uh, we're gonna start out by loading a YouTube video. Now notice both of these are on Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is bad in my house, so it may be a little bit different. Uh, but uh, this is really to test the uh, A5 processor in the 4S against the A6 processor, so not really just uh, Wi-Fi speeds. Uh, and as you see, my Wi-Fi is dropping back and forth on each phone. The, the Wi-Fi is terrible here. I don't know what it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and tap on both videos and hope they load up uh, a little bit faster on the iPhone 5 like it has been. All right, three, two, one. So there we go, I tapped it about the same time, and uh, as you see, well, it, of course it started loading a pre-roll ad, uh, but the video started loading a little bit faster. It's not much that's gonna really make a difference when you're using it, uh, but pretty much all apps are like that when you open up an app. Uh, it just opens up a tiny bit faster, but it's not too much to make a big difference. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Safari, uh, and go ahead and open up Bookmarks. I have a few tech sites loaded up here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on these. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on it right there. If it'll let me, there we go. And I'm gonna release them at the same time. Three, two, one. Now again, this is a Wi-Fi test. Uh, it actually looks like the iPhone 5 beat it out there just by a little bit, uh, not too much. Again, not really much to make a difference, but it is faster. Just proving the point, basically. I will do nine to five Mac, one of my favorite sites. Three, two, one. Looks like the iPhone 4S is actually beating it. So it looked like it was pretty much a tie right there. I will do one more, uh, one of my other favorite sites, The Verge. Uh, 3, 2, 1, well I didn't really count down there. Uh, the iPhone 5 is beating it. So as you see, it's a little bit faster. Again, that's Wi-Fi, so it's it's not gonna be much of a difference, uh, but that's just to show you that it does load it up a little bit faster. Uh, next, let's do one of my favorite tests with the new iPhone 5, uh, because they said the camera is 40% faster. So that's what we're gonna test out next. Let's go ahead and do uh, the swipe up camera thing uh, on the lock screen. I'm just gonna go right here and I'm gonna release it at the same time, so it goes. You shouldn't notice much of a difference here, but when you take a picture, you should. All right, three, two, one. Oh, the iPhone 4S actually beat it there. Um, every other time I've done that, trust me, the iPhone 5 has beat it out uh, just about by the same amount of time that the 4S did uh, the 5. So let's go ahead and take a picture and just show you uh, how fast or how much faster the iPhone 5 is than the 4S. Now what you're gonna look for is just notice the camera shutter when it actually closes and opens back up because you're gonna see that it's a lot faster on the 5. Three, two, one. Ah, there we go. So as you see, it was a lot faster on my iPhone 5. I'll do another one of those for you. Three, two, one. So as you see, it does look like it's about 40% faster, but again, it's not really gonna make that much of a difference uh, as far as just basic uses uh, of apps. I guess I'll go ahead and let you guys see my password. I'll have to change that now. Now let's take a look and open up a few games and just see how much faster uh, the games actually load up since the graphics are supposed to be two times faster. Uh, we're gonna do one of my favorite games, Subway Surfers, uh, which actually lags up my iPhone 4S a lot, so hopefully it doesn't do it now. All right, three, two, one. So it kind of looked like the iPhone 5 beat it out a little bit there when it opened it up. My iPhone 5's lagged up. Oh, there we go. It made it to the, the start screen first. Um, so as you see, the iPhone 5 loaded up a little bit faster there. Uh, I've been using this game on both phones and open them up like against each other. And sometimes the iPhone 4S will win, but most of the time the iPhone 5 will win uh, just like it did right there. Let's go ahead and open up another game. We'll go ahead and open up Temple Run. Now, take into account the tipple run on the iPhone 5 actually fits the iPhone 5 screen now, so it's not an exact comparison, but it'll be interesting to see how it works. Three, two, one. Loading. So we're already starting up here on the video. So there you go. This one is even has more graphics in it, and it's still loading up faster uh, on the iPhone 5. So as you see, that was a pretty big difference right there, uh, just opening up Temple Run. Uh, so let's go ahead and do one more game. Uh, we will do um, Real Racing 2. Let's go ahead and find it on the 4S. Should be on the very end screen, there it is. So we're gonna do open up Real Racing 2. Three, two, one.
iPhone 5 is just kicking the iPhone 4S's butt right now. I go ahead and skip through this. I think I can skip. Uh, might as well wait now. Here, I'll do it on this one. You see, the iPhone 5 is just kicking its butt. Three, two, one. So it's already loaded up the menu. iPhone 4S is still waiting. There's a game center. And there is the menu. So as you see, iPhone 5 opening up games is a lot faster. Again, it's really not going to make that much of a difference. Uh, maybe actually in gameplay it will. Uh, but as far as that, uh, just opening games, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Alright guys, so that brings an end to this speed test. Hopefully I did a good demonstration of showing you how much faster the iPhone 5 is to the iPhone 4S. Uh, in my opinion, it is faster, it is noticeable, but is it going to change your life that much faster? No, definitely not. Uh, so if you enjoyed this, make sure you click the like button down below. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. Uh, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos on the iPhone 5 as well as other uh, tech videos. And make sure you check out my playlist of iPhone 5 videos in case you've missed any of the other ones that I put up. Because I've done a lot. Uh, so check out my channel, subscribe, do that whole thing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.